Okay, welcome to App of the Week. We are going to look at using uh, Adobe Reader and we're going to first of all access a PDF file which is the standard Adobe file which m many people will be uh, familiar with. We're going to, we've already got those located on a folder and I'm, I'm actually doing a chemistry paper. So if I just click on the chemistry paper, I've got the, uh, the actual uh, preview comes up but we don't want to edit in the preview. We want to click on the top right hand button and then open in, open and then open in Adobe Reader. Okay, so this opens up the software uh, Adobe Reader, which is uh, really uh, easy to use. Uh, what I want to do is start doing the paper, and actually, if we go to the question, uh, page three, so we've got the first question: uh, give a reason why hydrochloric acid is present in the stomach. Uh, so we click on the on the screen, and this bar opens up at the top. Up here, sorry. Up here, we've got a new button there, and we just click on the T. You can see where it's pointed out at the bottom, um, and click on the answer area uh, to break down food okay and there is our text we can change the font size if it's too small too big and we can also change the box as well we can move it around uh, and obviously play around a little bit and so that's actually fine click out of that and we're going to just move up a bit we've got the next question the formula of hydrochloric acid is one of these and I want to put a cross in the um, HCL the, the A box so I'm going to click on the tool at the bottom right corner which is a pencil tool I'm just going to put a cross like that and I, obviously I can draw pretty much anything I want to draw there and then save and then I can just keep going uh, now this is what actually happened as soon as we've opened this by the Adobe Reader it's copied it to our iPad so it's actually on their iPad and, uh, and we can just open up Adobe and it should be there if I finish click on done sorry and go back to documents you can see got a few things there already they're all accessible all the time don't need to know if now go back to um, to folder uh, it may be a way that some students would like to do their exam papers on there and it may be something that you want to use when you're filling in other uh, documentation as well really simple to use you can sign into Adobe as well and then you can link to other doc other files but if you do want to get it back on your um, on your own work let's just open this up Sorry, on your own computer, you can email it yourself using the open with button, which is a square with an arrow pointing up. You click on that, share file, and then if we share the flattened copy, we won't be able to edit it again, but it will just give us an exact copy of what we wanted, and we can just share that through mail and get it back to where we wanted. Okay, so that's pretty much it for Adobe. Hope it's been useful. See you next time.